Hi everyone, it's Steve from Smart PE, and today we're going to be looking at a smarter way to answer a short answer question on heart rate. Now as you can see there's five steps at the top of the page that we always follow. If you've used a few of these instructional videos and feel like you're getting the hang of this, I'd like to see if you can do this for yourself. So get your highlighters and pens at the ready, pause the video and then resume playing once you've finished to check if you've done it correctly. So, pause your video now. Okay, what you should have done is read the question carefully. Once you've done that, you should have highlighted the command word explain and you should have annotated on your page that explain means to give a justification or example which must be linked. The topic words is heart rate and the qualifying words are increases in physical activity. The final thing you should have done is highlight the total amount of marks available, which is three. And you're gonna do that just to make sure you've made enough points in your answer. Now that you've done that, you're gonna try and answer the question. And you need to think about which assessment objectives go with this particular question. All three marks are for assessment objective two, application. Now remember the command word in this question is explain. So we're trying to justify the fact that the heart rate increases during physical activity. You should also know that the heart is responsible for pumping oxygenated blood to the working muscles. So for the first mark, you need to say what happens to the demands for oxygenated blood when we exercise. OK, before we start answering the next part of the question, we need to think probably about the key terms associated with heart rate. These could be stroke volume or cardiac output. For the second mark, let's talk about stroke volume first. So what I think you need to do for this is say what happens to your stroke volume in order to meet the demand for the oxygenated blood. Once you've done that, you might want to start thinking about cardiac output because cardiac output means stroke volume times heart rate. And you've already spoken about stroke volume. You probably want to talk about heart rate now to cover both aspects of cardiac output. So for your third and final mark, I'd like you to say what would happen to heart rate when exercising or during physical activity. Don't forget, you can use your revision cards to help you answer this question. And as always, answer, mark and correct if you don't get full marks.